Donald Trump has been a toxic presence in our nation for four years. With 64 days to go until the U.S. presidential election and after a weekend of deadly unrest in that country, Democratic nominee Joe Biden, he's signaling a new phase in his campaign, saying the road back begins now in a speech Monday that centered on this question. Does anyone believe there'll be less violence in America if Donald Trump is reelected? At the mic in the battleground state of Pennsylvania, Biden, who is leading in the polls and now set to step up his travel after largely isolating himself at home amid the pandemic, he's putting the blame on Donald Trump for recent unrest in American cities. He's rooting for chaos and violence. He can't stop the violence because for years he's fomented it. Biden condemning rioting, looting and violence across the board after a man linked to a right wing group was killed Saturday in Portland, Oregon, a city that saw clashes between Trump supporters and Black Lives Matter protesters just days after two people were shot and killed during unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin, following the police shooting there of Jacob Blake, a black man in front of his children. Trump responding in recent days in a flood of often inflammatory tweets, posting in part, the radical left mayors and governors of cities where this crazy violence is taking place have lost control of their movement. And he's repeating his message that he is the law and order candidate. Mouthing the words law and order makes him strong, but his failure to call on his own supporters to stop acting as an armed militia in this country shows how weak he is. Trump is set to visit Kenosha Tuesday to meet with law enforcement there, even though local leaders are urging the U.S. president to cancel his plans. Among them, Wisconsin's Democratic governor, in an open letter to Trump, he says in part, I am concerned your presence will only hinder our healing. Now, Biden, he's spoken with Jacob Blake's family. Right now, the White House says there are no plans for Trump to meet with them. Melissa Duggan, City News.